J ハット塾。Please hit subscribe. This problem appears at the qualifying examinations for applicants for Japanese government MEXT scholarships 2020. This problem is from the 2020 undergraduate mathematics A questionnaire. The official link to the answer key and the original questions are in the description. For this problem, we are given two numbers x and y, and we are told that both of these numbers are integers. We are also told that the sum of x and y is an even number, which means that m here is an integer, and 2m is, of course, a multiple of 2, which is the definition of an even number. We are also told that x and y both satisfy. Both of these inequalities. Then we are asked to find the maximum of the value of x plus 2y and the value of x and y at the point when x plus 2y is maximum. To solve this, we first sketch the given conditions. In particular, we need to sketch these two inequalities. Then we find the possible extrema. Which are at the corners of the area bounded by these conditions. And finally, we find the maximum among the possible extrema. But in this case, it will be obvious that there is only one possible extremum, and that is at the corner. And therefore, if a maximum exists, that should be at that corner, given. That at that corner, the sum of x and y is an even number. If the sum of x and y at the corner is not an even number, then we will choose the point nearest the corner such that the sum of x and y at that point is an even number. To sketch the given inequalities, we rewrite the given inequalities in the slope intercept form. This line is decreasing. From left to right, and it has a y intercept of 17 over 4 in here. And because this is a less than or equal to symbol, this inequality refers to the area below the pink line. Similarly, for the yellow line, again we see that the slope is minus 3 halves, which means that it is decreasing from left to right. Because of the negative sign. And then we also see that the y intercept would be 21 over 2 in here, and that the x intercept, which we can obtain by setting y equals 0 and then solving for x, if we do that, we will see that the x intercept is here at x equals 7. And because this is a less than or equal to sign, We are talking about the area below the yellow line. And therefore, the solution to this problem would fall in the area that is common to both of these inequalities. That means this area below the pink and yellow line. For step two, we will look for the possible extrema which occur at the corners of. The area that is bounded by these lines. And there is only one corner here, and that is this point. So, if a maximum exists, that maximum will occur here if this point satisfies all the other conditions. And so, we are interested in finding this point. To do that, we solve the equations of these two lines. The equation of the pink line is simply x plus 4y equals 17, and that's what we have here. Likewise, the equation of the yellow line is just this inequality with the inequality sign replaced with an equal sign. To solve this, I multiply the second equation by 2 and the first equation by negative 1 and then add the resulting equations. When we do that, We eliminate y and we are left with this equation, which gives us the value for x. Now we can replace x equals 5 into the first equation here, and we obtain this equation, which we can now solve for y. 
that gives us y equals 3. That means that this corner here has the coordinates 5, 3. So, if a maximum exists, then that maximum must be at 5, 3 if 5, 3 satisfies all the other conditions. The remaining condition that we need to check is that the sum of x and y at this point must be an even number. So we check the sum of 5 and 3. The sum of 5 and 3 is 8, and clearly 8 is an even number. Therefore, we now know that the maximum occurs at 5, 3. The maximum of the function x plus 2y is then computed. We just replace x with 5 and y with 3, and we obtain 11. Therefore, the maximum of x plus 2y, given these conditions, is 11, and that maximum occurs when x is 5 and when y is 3. If you learned something new today, please help my channel by clicking the subscribe button and the bell for the notifications. See ya! Please hit subscribe.